Welcome to this text net where I'll show you how to copy files from on-premise to Amazon S3 with PowerShell. We have prerequisites. We need AWS tools for Windows or AWS PowerShell.NET Core module installed. We also need an IAM user with S3 permissions and an S3 bucket created with permissions granted to that IAM user. So let's get started. We're going to use the write-s3 object commandlet and we'll just work our way through the parameters that you'll use. So first we'll have the bucket name defined. Then we have the key, which is the name object in the destination bucket. Then you'll have the region and then the file name. So this is the local file name that you want to send into S3. We're using server-side encryption. So when the file's been finished writing uh, to S3, it'll be encrypted in AAS256. And also we're going to use our profile. I've got a AWS profile with the IAM user defined locally, and it's called Snippy. So let's write this file. Actually, before we do that, let me show you. Here's the S3 bucket, and you'll actually see the bucket is empty. I'll just hit refresh, there's nothing in there. Okay, so if we run this code, go back, do a refresh, and there we have example.log. Okay, so that's an individual file. Let's now try a folder with files. We'll use write s3 object again. The difference this time is we use a parameter called key prefix. This essentially inserts a name before your files. And then we have folder, which is the local folder on here, which has some files in it. I can just show you. So you'll see three test files there. So we'll run this. We'll go back into AWS and we'll do another refresh. And there we have the test folder and the three text files. So next, we're going to create an empty folder. Now, when I say folder, you see just past that I've said, or is it? There is actually no concept of files and folders in an S3 bucket. Everything in an S3 bucket is an object. Hence the reason we have the command key prefix. You're just prefixing a zero byte object so it can represent a folder within S3 or visualize it for you. So we kind of have to trick S3 at this point for creating an empty folder. By setting the key, we want the folder name to be example and put a forward slash in front of that. The file name, it, it doesn't matter at this point. What we should end up with is just a folder called example or a representation of a folder. So let's just run this. Now, if I refresh it, you'll see we have our folder. So lastly, we're going to use a different commandlet. This one's copy-s3 object. This commandlet can be used to copy objects from bucket to bucket or bucket to on-premise. So what we're going to do this time is we're going to take example.log in the key and we're going to copy it to a local file. So let's have a look in the folder that we're going to copy it to first. So you'll see there's no example.log file in there. Then we'll run the command. Then we'll have another look in the folder. And there you'll see example.log. And that was how to copy files from on-premise to Amazon S3 with PowerShell. Thank you for watching this snip.